Welcome back guys. Today's day 141. My name is Christian. Today's daily Bible reading. And today we're going to be reading Acts 18, 12 to 28. When Galileo was proconsul of Achaia, the Jews with one accord rose up against Paul and brought him to the judgment seat, saying, This fellow persuades men to worship God contrary to the law. And when Paul was about to open his mouth, Galileo said to the Jews, If it were a matter of wrongdoing or wicked crimes, O Jews, there would be a reason why I should bear with you. But if it is a question of words and names and your own law, look to it yourselves, for I do not want to be a judge of such matters. And he drove them from the judgment seat. Then all the Greeks took Sosthenes, the ruler of the synagogue, and beat him before the judgment seat. But Galileo took no notice of these things. So Paul still remained a good while. Then he took leave of the brethren and sailed for Assyria and Priscilla and Aquila were with him. He had his hair cut off at Centuria, for he had taken a vow. And he came to Ephesus and left them there. But he himself entered the synagogue and reasoned with the Jews. When they asked him to stay a longer time with them, he did not consent, but took leave of them, saying, I must by all means keep this coming feast in Jerusalem, but I will return again to you, God willing. And he sailed from Ephesus. And when he had landed in Caesarea and gone up and greeted the church, he went down to Antioch. After he had spent some time there, he departed and went over the region of Galatia and Phrygia, in order of strengthening all the disciples. Now a certain Jew named Apollos, born of Alexandria, an eloquent man and mighty in the scriptures, came to Ephesus. This man had been instructed in the way of the Lord and being fluent in spirit. He spoke and taught accurately the things of the Lord, though he knew only the baptism of John, so he began to speak boldly in the synagogue. When Aquila and Priscilla heard him, they took him aside and explained to him the way of God more accurately. And when he desired to cross to Achaia, the brethren wrote, exhorting the disciples to receive him. And when he arrived, he greatly helped those who had believed through grace, for he rigorously refuted the Jews publicly showing from the scriptures that Jesus is the Christ. Let's go ahead and pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for our families. I thank you for your word. I thank you for your blessings, God. I pray for those around me, in my family, my friends, and my coworkers. Lord, I pray for those you appointed as my leaders. I just pray you grant me your wisdom, your knowledge, understanding, your your grace, your mercy, your patience, so we all can endure more, Lord, where you've placed us. Lord, I pray that you lead us into the next chapter of our lives. And God, I just ask that you let it be known that it is your will, your purpose, and your timing. Give us confirmation, God, of what you are doing in our lives, please. For it might not make sense where we're at right now or where it's heading. I just pray you take over, God. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. For day 142, go ahead and click on the link on the screen, and I'll see you guys in the next one.